Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a hilarious report that Trans Miss Netherlands is defending Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney partnership. Well, just when you thought the world couldn't get any more upside down, here we have one of the funniest reports yet that I have seen on Bud Light, Dylan Mulvaney, and co. Take a look at this headline from the New York Post. And first things first, for any one of my great viewers, uh, and smash that like button on this channel, and please smash that subscribe button and ding that notification bell if you are new to the channel. But for any of my great subscribers that miss this hilarious content, let me do a quick flashback to our new Miss Netherlands. Slight air of warning here. This is not going to be one of your classic Miss pageant, Miss USA, Miss Universe winners. This is a uh, trans person that has been selected to win Miss Netherlands. And of course, CNN labels it as Miss Netherlands contestant makes history as first trans woman to win the pageant. And you can take a look at Hannah here. Uh, but yes, Ricky Coley became the first openly trans pageant contestant to win the title of Miss Netherlands. Again, this was probably selected by Klaus Schwab and the globalists voting on this, but nonetheless, you have it here. It's clown world. She even said, or he even said, whatever. I did it in a joyous Instagram post. Let me ask you guys, how hard do you think it was to win Miss Netherlands in 2023 when just about anything LGBTQ+, plus, you list that on your job application, you list that on your Harvard application, your application to Brown, well, we can pull up a study, nearly 40% of students at Brown University and Ivy League here in the US now identify as LGBTQ+. You can basically use this as your way in, your golden ticket to whatever you want, you can get it here. So how hard do you think it was for her to win that in the current state of affairs in clown world? I don't want to take too much away from this person, but my gosh, it seems a little rigged. Now, how does this tie into Bud Light and Dylan Mulvaney, you ask? It's a great question, which we'll get to in one second, but I did want to pull the tab receipt here. Nearly 40% of students at Brown identify as LGBTQ+, doubling the share from 2010. So there you go. There's your entry ticket into the Ivy Leagues, a la Elizabeth Warren, checking off that she was Native American, even though she had to take a DNA test, which ultimately backfired. But as we know... But as we know, in the U.S., there is a two-tiered system of justice. If you play for the wrong team, if you're not siding with the liberal Dems, you are going to be held down, my friend. You're the one being punished. Well, they get off scotch-free. Now, take a look at what Miss Netherlands said about the Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney saga. Quote, I think it's really to make the girl that low in confidence meaning Mulvaney, I'm assuming, and judging her for being herself, which again, we have debunked endlessly on this channel. She says, I think it's horrible. The 22-year-old beauty pageant winner, Ricky Valerie Cole, told Newsweek. This is a classic case of low self-awareness, not reading the room, but we're not talking about an IQ contest here now, are we folks? No, we are talking about a rigged, I mean, a fair and balanced beauty pageant, of course, in the Netherlands and the EU right now. Uh, quote, she goes on to say, and totally doubles down on her stance, they see us as monsters, uh, who began her transition from male to female at 16 years old. My daily DMs are full of people wishing me dead, wishing me dead and telling me to, well, I'm not going to say the word, but basically off herself, which... As you know my stance on, that is far too deep on the line. I think we can fight back against this whole cultural shift by committing down, doubling down on our nuclear family values, our commitment to God, to reading the Bible, to practicing and worshiping our Holy Father. But I also think that this is just so symbolic of everything wrong with the world in the current year. And this cultural war is dominating headlines. Meanwhile, the world is falling down around us, the U.S. economy, while they say inflation is going down. Have you been to the grocery store lately? Have you seen the prices? The only thing inflation is going down on is the price of Bud Light. Am I right? Because no one is buying it. 
So much so that even Costco might be done with the once beer giant. Costco places, quote, star of death on Bud Light cases. I'm sure you guys have seen the report, but quickly, if you haven't, I wanted to tie this in as well. You can see here in the photo, and you have to look closely, and I will enlarge it for you guys, but in the top right corner of this rack at Costco, you can see the price there. Obviously, no one's paying 25 bucks for a 36 pack of Bud Light. No one's paying $3, let alone 25, but you can see a little asterisk in the top right. Now, what Costco's infamous for is being very shrewd when it comes to restocking products aren't selling, and by them being decisive in their business decisions, they are saying plain and clear, simple as day, that Bud Light is no longer selling, which in turns means we are no longer going to stock it. It's not just for the big 36 racks, it's also for the 12 packs as well. You can see the star of death in the top right as well. So Miss Netherlands, who is coming to the defense of Dilly Dilly Mulvaney and the Bud Light backlash saga, I would pose this question to you. Isn't it a touch ironic that you, Miss Netherlands, said that Dilly Dilly was just doing what Dilly Dilly likes by promoting Bud Light? No, Dilly Dilly cashed in big time. Dilly Dilly has always been seeking the headlines. And I would be willing to place a wager here that this is a very similar story to what uh, Mulvaney is doing in the U.S., but of course I do this video on Miss Netherlands now and in halfway down of the New York Post article it says this bombshell. However, Coley's not letting the hate get to her as she prepares for another potential historic win at the Miss Universe pageant on January 14th, 2024. Give me a break. Not only are we going to have to deal with this nonsensical storyline for another year, we're also going to have to endure the Sleepy Joe campaign in 2024, the Basement campaign 2.0, and a myriad of other negative storylines I'm sure are set to hit the print. Let's face facts. This is becoming the new normal in 2023, and that is the sole reason why I started this YouTube channel, and I am so blessed to have the rapid support, the thumbs up on the videos, the subscriptions to the channel, the people joining memberships for behind the scenes content, and all of that because it is my way of saying we have had enough. We cannot take this woke culture anymore. Stop giving attention to these issues which really, I hate to say it, but aren't impacting hardly anybody. We need to rebuild America. We need to focus on making America a free and protected land again. Instead, our southern border is wide open. I could go on and on and on about the state of the U.S. at this moment, but instead, I will give you this quote. The only thing I want to say to the haters is thank you because you're giving me a bigger platform than I can ever imagine. So just like Dilly Dilly, Miss Netherlands also likes to stoke the fire here too, almost welcoming backlash, it seems, by saying stuff like that. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, this has been your Clown World Report of the Day. The good news, however, is it does look like Bud Light's days are numbered and they are running out of time. A new headline says Bud Light stock facing, quote, a death blow after new controversial ad. And we have covered those ads extensively here at Reese Politics, where you know and I know they are 100% full of baloney. There is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, they can do to win us back. Not that we would ever consider it, but even if they apologize, this ship has sailed. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for the support on this channel by smashing the thumbs up, by having the great dialogue in the comment section. It really means the world to me. So once again, thanks for the support. And until the next video, my friends, make sure to be well and take care.